What's up guys, this is Will Witt with PragerU, here today with Brandon Tatum, talking to people on the streets of Hollywood. I'm a former police officer, and we're gonna talk to people about police brutality and some of the cultural things that are going on in America. Let's see how it go, man. Do you think that we should defund the police? Um, I think, I think we, there needs to be a lot of changes. Yes, I really do think we should defund the police. You know, I just think there's a lot of uh, unnecessary amounts of money going to them that is being used I guess, uh, in a negative way. Yes. Do you think the police are racist? Some, yes. I don't know about most, but a good percentage of them, yeah. Yeah, it's just alarming that the police brutality that I've been seeing on social media. You know, we still need justice for Breonna Taylor. Like, that still needs to happen. Yeah. If you guys could say anything to a police officer now, what would you want to say? I mean, I really do. I really wouldn't know what to say, because I feel like they're so, like, set in their, like, you know, like, ways that it's just hard to persuade. Why can African American people, like why can I get away with things that some people can't? Like, how am I less threatening than someone else, you know? Like why am I less threatening than you are? Like I don't, it doesn't make sense. So he is actually a retired cop. And so if you guys had any questions about anything, he would love to answer anything. Do you think the system is racist? Like in America? That's what I mean. No, I, I don't think the system is racist. There's no law in the books that's against black people, right? I mean, do you know of any laws that says this is a law for black people and then everybody else don't have to abide by that? And therefore, there's no laws for police officers to enforce that are racist. I think that the rhetoric that's on the TV is that somehow being black is a, is a um, I don't know, you're automatically getting targeted by police. And that's just not necessarily true. When you look at the numbers, uh, white people get killed twice as much as black people by police, even unarmed individuals. There's twice as many white people and sometimes three times as many white people who are shot unarmed by police than black people. And most people don't know that because the media pushes a certain narrative. What do you think about um, Derek Chauvin, like that whole thing? Like, yeah, what do you, how do you, like, how do you like perceive that? Yeah, I think that Derek Chauvin did not do his job. You know, I don't think there's any reason to have your knee on a person's neck as they're struggling, as they begin to die. You know, I don't think any officer supports that, right? I don't think anybody does. Um, and I think that justice is being served. He was, he had been indicted, he is going to jail, and I think that he's gonna have his day in court. How do you, like, for instance, cause you're black, right? So, I mean, how was it like, your training and everything, because I feel like that's where it's coming. To, it's come down yeah, to yeah, is like we, I was. I was never trained at any point during our training to be racist, <laughs> and nobody was trained to be racist. Actually, we were trained to treat people equal, treat people fairly, and that's how you become a, a adequate police officer. I've never met a racist police officer. Now, I think that they are out there for sure, but I've never met a racist police officer. If you treat people with respect, you'll get respect in return. When I was a police officer, I would protect people with my life. I had children and a family at home that I would leave every day and I never knew if I was gonna die or not. Um, but I, I did that because I love the people. And when you sign up and you go through the training, when you go through years of training, you're doing it because you love people. I don't know, sometimes I feel like black people are shot unfairly. How many black people were shot unarmed in, in LA in 2019? Do you know that number? Um, yeah, like 100, 150. Maybe the hundreds, but like 500 to 1,000? Yeah, like, like <laughs> you know, it's- 1,000 unarmed? Yeah. Well, it's only been one. Damn. Uh, unarmed black person shot in LA has been one. I don't think they had any this year. One unarmed black man, bullshit. And there were four white men killed unarmed by police. In California? In California. Okay. Mm. Is this shocking? Or? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm definitely shocked. Yeah. And so when you, when you look at those numbers, it changed kind of the narrative of what you see on television. Black people aren't getting killed and shot unarmed the way they are presenting it. It's just that when one does, it's all over the news. So don't just believe me. You can go do your research. And that's where I found this information and it shocked me. And it actually was relieving that black people aren't just killed on, a, you know, just by the thousands in California. But I, I'm really glad to hear that, though. That, like, brings some positivity into my life today. Like, that's... Well, I appreciate it. Did you guys learn anything new today? Does this change your perspective? Yeah, a lot. It changed my perspective a lot. I'm really glad y'all stopped us and told me that. Like, I mean, that ratio from, like, yeah, you know, that, that was, was news to yeah, me. Yeah, news to me, too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to follow me and Brandon on social media. Share this video with your friends. Put your thoughts in the comments, and we're going to see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Yeah, look it up. Don't just trust me. Oh, yeah, no, look it up. I do a ride along with, with the local police department. All you have to do is go to the precinct that's closest to you. They'll let you do a ride along, just as long as you don't have any 
felony conviction, you're not wanted for murder or something, you know, you can do a ride along. I'm telling you, do it. It will change your life. You, it will, you, it will change your perspective on policing in America. What's up guys? Thank you so much for watching this video. PragerU is a 501c3 organization. Help us keep our videos free by making a tax-deductible donation today. I'd really appreciate your support.